If you forgive the hyperbole, which can be tricky when talking about football, this evening is the first leg of what for Celtic is a two-match Champions League final. Should Brendan Rodgers' players manage to win here against Anderlecht in Brussels, most would have them as the serious favourites to get through to the Europa League knockout matches as the third-place team behind Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain, although it was interesting to hear the Celtic manager adamantly refusing to believe a point could not be taken from such a European royalty over the course. However, that is for later. All that matters here and now is Celtic avoid defeat Rodgers would take a draw, albeit victory would show how far this side have come in 15 months. Martin O'Neill did not manage to win a Champions League game away from Celtic Park. Neither did Gordon Strachan. The only man to do so since the European Cup, as many of us still call it, was transformed in 1992 is Neil Lennon. That last and solitary win came at Spartak Moscow in 2012. Celtic drew away against Borussia Mönchengladbach and Manchester City last season, two games they could have won it must be said, and the question now is does this Rogers team have it in them to do where so many previous teams filled with great players failed you can take it two ways, said the Northern Irishman. You can either embrace it and look forward to the challenge of it, or not. For us, the mentality we try to create is to look to be defensively strong and play the game we play at home when we are away from home. Of course, you know you are going to have to show moments of resilience to cope with other pressures away from home, especially at this level. But in the main, we look forward to trying to play our game. That's all we try to do in this competition. And elect to no world beaters but they would not need to be to defeat Celtic, and that is with every due respect to this group of invincibles who have now gone 57 domestic games unbeaten. PSG and Bayern are in a different universe, the Belgians are not. They may have suffered their worst start to the domestic season since 1998 but who in the right mind would rule out the best team in Belgium beating the best from Scotland in a football sense. There are some fantastic players in Belgium, said Rogers. You only need to look at the era they are in now. With a population of around 10 metres, the players they produce are very, very good. If you look at the other champions we have played, Astana were a good side, Rosenborg beat Ajax who were the Europa League finalists last season. And elect reached the quarter-finals of the Europa League, so they are still a very tough opponent. They are no mugs, they are a good side with a good history. They haven't started the season as they would have wanted but the Champions League is a great motivating factor for them to kick on. So, is it the case that these two games with Anderlecht are Celtic's only chance of third place? It would appear so from the outside but Rogers, as you would expect and also hope, is not ruling out a win in Paris or taking something from either match with Munich. Listen, you go into those games believing you can get a result, said the Celtic manager. But it's logical, really, that if PSG bring their A game and we bring our A game, then PSG win. That's simple and that's not killing a dream or bursting any sort of bubble. I'm a realist, you know. But we will always look to plan to win. And hopefully over the coming seasons we can do that. We want the name of Celtic and the representation of Scotland to go as far as we possibly can. We know how difficult it is but that should NT stop us looking to fight for that. So that's something we want to be able to do. If we can carry the team and carry the club into those latter stages then, of course, there are many benefits from that. Rogers returned to the theme of Celtic going at Anderlecht tonight rather than sitting back, keeping things tight and hoping something happens in front of their goal. Apart from anything else, Celtic are not particularly good at such defensive tactics. A positive result for us is important. Our plan is to win the game. If it ends in a draw and that's where we're at, then there are still other games in the group where, you just never know, you can pick up points. I watched Bayern Munich last week against Wolfsburg and they looked comfortable at 20 up. Most people watching it might have thought it would have ended up 4 or 5. But the opponent came back and drew 22, which was unexpected. So you just never know where the points will come from. If you are solely looking at the games against and elect then to get a win or a draw here, and the other games in the group map out as people think, then that leaves you with a home game against and elect to try and progress. You'd be happy with that. We shall soon find out whether Celtic can put a smile on their manager's face.